and this cover is not closed. Shit. So this has been here since I was a kid, and it's been burnt down. And the latest top number. I actually thought it was that building that we were seeing on the telly, but it's not. It was that building. Well, that used to be the Allied Carpets, that very famous junction, Tottenham High Road. And I can't remember what the high road is. Oh shit, look, the building's like half collapsed in. Interview with the residents. Yes, I just come this country. And they said, fuck, I took my shit. And now, <laughs> we came from Romania and on street. Now we in Tottenham and on street. Man taking picture of van. Hey, Victor, yeah. Oh yeah, okay. Some of the uh, rioters from earlier on, the provocateurs, have turned up again. How they quite fit into this story, I do not know, but hey, you know, they're surveying the damage, like they did at 9-11. Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah. Well, you know, it's a little bit like the old days. It's a little bit like. Not entirely like the old days, but they're getting there. They're trying. They're trying. They're trying. Right. As we move on through the devastation, other people have earthquakes, but in Tottenham, we have uh, we have rights. Look, look more. Look more. I'm gathering evidence. See, look. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. These guys. These guys are in it somewhere, man. Somehow these guys are in it. Police helicopter. Aldi's gone. Aldi's burnt out. Down by Bruce Grove. Scanlon down, down by Bruce Grove. Now the area is locked off. So, where, where was that place? Oh, that was further down there though, wasn't it? Where it was two burnt out places and the, and the, um, and the hairdressers were left in the middle. That, yeah, that's, that's down there. Okay, so we have carnage, we have destruction, we have twisted metal, burnt out carcasses of former cars. We got old Bill rolling around. This is post. This is the daytime. All people posing by the cars. P posing by the burnout vehicles. Fuck it. The fuck. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, it's Tottenham, isn't it? Oh, yeah. One way to know you're in the hood. Yeah. Yeah, so we've got people hope posing by burnt-out cars because the burnout car is the new scenery in 2011. The, the burnt-out car is the new spectacular vista in 2011. Yeah, man. Oh, look, here we go. What have we got? We've got, we've got media trucks. Media trucks. I wonder if anyone's giving it any of this um, wood green Tottenham bullshit today. I wonder if they were doing that last night. They can't have been. It looks like Unity last night. So, I say it though. So, this is where we were earlier on when um, David Lammy was giving the interview. So we decided to come down here and have a look. I wanted to come exactly to the place where they were doing the interviews. So here we be. And here are the satellite camera, satellite vans, some of which got smashed up last night. There's a helicopter in the distance, but I can't. I've just doing been too many, too many of those helicopter focus shots. Like a bit too stereotypical for people's blogs, aren't they? So I'm going to do one now. There's our stereotypical close-up helicopter shot following civil disturbance. Watch when we get all these classics in. There's Tottenham Chances. They left Tottenham Chances alone. Oh, that's good. Community spirit. They left Tottenham Chances alone. Let's see what else. Is there anyone? I wonder if there are any other big mouths down here making big mouth statements. 
So look at that, Tottenham Chances. Not one window smashed on Tottenham Chances. That's good, isn't it? Let's have a look, TV cameras over there. And no one actually wants to say anything. So I tried asking someone before, but he didn't want to speak on camera, so. Uh... He was lying on the street. Right. And they shot him, boom, boom, boom. Four times Four. they shot him. In the chest. So all of this, because I tell you what, when I got suspicious, I got suspicious when I heard David Lammy's statement, right? And when I heard David Lammy's statement, knowing what David Lammy was like, oh. I knew that there's some cover-up going on. And he said, not every, everyone shouldn't jump to conclusions. And I said, well, yeah, obviously that means it's that guilty as hell, and you can't come to the obvious conclusion. That's what I, I, that's can, what I said. But, but he isn't he a useless MP? So you also, so, so what, you heard that the guy was lying down on the pavement? He told him to come out from the car. Yeah. And then he was lying there, told him to lie on the street. You know how they tell you to lie yep. on the street? Yep. And then he came and point blank range. And they shot him dead. That's what, that's what happened. And then people right. were taking pictures. You know, people were there. Because yep. it's just very lame that it happened there, isn't it? Wow. So, so well, this was, so this was justified then? This the is justified. man did not have any weapons on him. And since March, I heard that the man has been saying that they want to kill him. Right. So he was even not even driving his own car. Because he was in a passenger in a minicab. Because the way that the, the media put it out. Yeah, the way that the, 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 the media put it out is like we don't care about him because he's a gunman anyway. Do you understand? They, they, they say that he's a gangster and he's yeah. all this. If he's a big time gangster, how come they didn't get him all this time? He's only 29. Yeah. You know they do this. Yeah, he's got four kids. He has five. One died. One died. Yeah, he's too young. So there was no police shootout. They said they recovered the bullet in their radio. That is all That's bullshit. Really a misfire yeah, yeah, when you're firing, the thing can ricochet off something and come and hit another person. When you're firing a bullet, once you any once you leave the bullet leaves the car, it can go to anybody. Yeah. So they they, so they, they just pull him out of the car and shot him point back. Told him to lie down on the ground and then they shot him. That we people, when you have your child, and then he's 29, he's supposed yeah. to bury you, then you're burying your son. Yeah, How do you think that's... you're going to feel? Yeah. It's somebody's child. So the media, the media have put a bad story about him. Media, really, that's why. Do they ever have any positive story about any black yeah. person? Yeah. Only told black like David Lammy that they have positive oh, stories. Yeah, you know, use less MP. Use less MP. Yeah. Just the money, the money's been put into the wrong places. They yeah. don't care, but these I blame the city black people that voted for them to come in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those those are the people that they need to come out with. Because which black people voted for who to come in? What you mean? The conservatives. You mean voted for a liberal yeah. democrat, you mean? Yes. Oh, there's a lot of black people voting for liberal yeah, democrat. And conservative. Yeah, Look at them now. Look. Oh, I know. We'll try and get some of this on film. It's disgusting. Black boys, they've excluded from school. Apprenticeship is their end job. Yeah. Minimum wage. And well, anyway, all of my programs have been cut, so I know all of that age group that I would be seeing for the last two years. I haven't seen that age group. That means they're out there doing something. Doing something. And, and um, they're not signing on. Yeah. The O2. So everyone done the phones. Free blackberries. Do you know what I mean? You know that's why people were here. Blackberry crazy, isn't it? Satan very crazy. Okay, what else? I wonder if PC World got done. Argos, Argos. No, Curry's has got a big dirty gate. Argos, did they get into Argos? They got into Argos. Right, yeah, the display. And I'm sure PC World, I would put money on PC World. Uh, actually, uh, isn't that funny? Now, I'm out and around filming, and guess who I bump into, right? Because you chat on the internet, and some people say about being real and everything, and then look who I bump into. The family of girls with lashes in here come out, right? And she's tried to put on the trainers. Couldn't fit her, and she's looking at the size, crossing to girl, girl looking at the size. And you see your fingers, like, <laughs> Talking about that girl that looked like she's trying to get away from the area before where? you try to put the shoes. Where are the, you can't, unless you're going into a house, right? Why are you putting the TV in a trolley? Yeah. Where are you going with a trolley? You know, a big That's so stereotypical, TV in a trolley. trolley. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You take yeah. it out the box. That's America in the 1970s. You take it out the box, because it's like any, go on, yeah. like your business. You go in a trolley, there's no side roads. Where are you going in a trolley, big brother's time of morning? Going. <laughs> Sorry. About where I can't be. Uh, I'll see you in the workplace. Hey, I've got some, hey, wait a minute, mate. I've got some pictures, right? All over there in the alley, All right. right? There's boxes. Let me see what show you've got. Hang on. 
the side streets. Yeah! Hang on, pictures. Cash till, box. Mm. Yeah, I've got one like that. We've Look, got, yeah. all the polystyrene, that's just that road there. Night, night. Look, cash tills. I have to think the best picture is them ripping out the. Toshiba, 50 inch telly. Boy, JD someone, hangers, I've even got JD hangers to go on my Facebook. Right? Oh my god. Look at the Sony thing. They shot the guy in the back. They killed him. This is coming through the underpass under there. Big Sony telly. Look, 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 look. If I see anyone wearing them shoes at school in, in September, oh, no. I will know. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, Lidl, PC World, Comet. Wow, Comet got done. Ross, Ross. Comet got properly done, man. Okay, I think we should. So this is like North London wide, man. 